Carpenter got a little bit of the car loose, got to the middle of the racetrack. Dan Weldon was stronger. He went low, but they pitted early on lap 60. Power went longer. They have new crews on pit road. So not only did they have fantastic pit work to get him out quickly, they pitted later, took advantage of that, and put Will Power into the lead. Now, on lap number 79, very scary accident for three cars. Vitor Amira aggressively goes to the bottom. And look at this contact for Simona de Silvestro. The secondary contact for her was extreme. She comes across, and here, this is a very scary moment. Thankfully, she was okay, as was the heavy contact for Mira and a long, long crash for Ryan Briscoe, who says he has a heavily bruised foot, but otherwise is a okay. And that's where we are so far with Will Power continuing to show the way. He has led 80 laps. We've had two caution periods for 23 laps, five leaders and seven lead changes. The average speed just over 161 miles an hour, Jack. And the window is open for all pit stops. But I want to show you Will Power and Dan Weldon. Now they can go as far as 146 and 145. But by my calculations, if I'm Will Power, I want to come in a little bit earlier. I don't want to play the game that close to the vet. That could bring Dan Weldon back into that pit window. Let's check in as Tony Kanan is on, in on his way to pit road. And as, as is Justin Wilson and Alex Tagliani has completed his pit stop. So it is about time for us to make pit stops. What I want to watch is when does Weldon come and when does Will Power come? And here comes Will Power down off the banking and on to pit lane for what should be his final pit stop. Canon pulls away, so does Ryan Hunter Ray. Crucial these green stops hitting all your marks. And Robbie, Will Power is headed toward you. Clive, Clive Powell is looking at his telemetry up there and said, hey, Will, we might have a wing adjustment. Will Power said, no, guys, I like the way it is right now. So no adjustments on the wing, just tires waiting for full fuel. And the Will Power All-Stars send him out one more time. And the fuel seemed to take a little longer, certainly, than it did in the early stops. But for Dan Weldon, he did go at least one extra lap. And here he comes there now onto pit road. That's what he wants to do. Remember last time, he was the winner on outlaps. So he picks it up on the inlap. He's got a shot here. Because I think power was on pit road a little longer than he is normally. So this is a shot. Just that little bit. He waited on fuel, it seemed. Yep. Very slowly down okay, pit lane. 60 mile an hour speed limit. But here he comes. Dan Weldon's crew goes to work. Remember, it was 8.9 was what we saw for power. And visually, just when we we're on board with him, you can see how hard it is to pick out your marks to get okay. by. That's nine tenths of a second. Yeah, almost a full second. So he may be able to beat power. And but power's oh, high. Power. power was up against he, the he wall. Rushed the wall there. Wow. On cold tires. Did he damage the car? They're he still not even. Weldon. There's no yellow, so Weldon needs to bust it out, and Weldon should be ahead of power. He should. By a pretty good margin. He had a faster pit stop. He went longer, and Will Power had trouble. Has Will Power damaged the car? Wow, could that be amazing? Scott Dixon, he's off pit lane. So a major setback here, maybe, for Will Power. Well, he's still up to speed. Yep. Here's what happened. Turn three. Goes to the high side of Andretti. Oh, and he lifts, he lifts, he lifts. Oh, look out. He did. Oh, oh, he didn't think he, he hit it. No. no. <laughs> but that just shows you when you get in the high side of this racetrack, just you get up in the grooves. Elio's hitting his marks in for service. Their gamble didn't quite pay. He certainly got a few more laps before his pit stop, but they were hoping. Oh, 8.2 that, seconds. That's quick, but remember, he lost a lot of track position with his earlier stops. So, Dan Weldon is the leader. Dario is second, Andretti is third, Kanan fifth, and Will Power. Kanan fourth, and Will Power's fifth.
I can't believe Will Power is fifth. I mean, how did he that? You can't get any closer than that. <laughs> just, he was rolling kind of the higher side of that racetrack, but just kind of got up in, in some dirty racetrack, and it just washed up. And part of that, too, is your tires still aren't up to temperature. And look at Power's out lap, 205. That, that, that <laughs> is crazy. Whoa, Whoa, look out. <laughs> that sums that up, doesn't it? 52 laps to go at Kentucky Speedway. Weldon is out front. Versus takes you back to NASCAR's roots. Green flag. With open wheels, short tracks, and the same high-speed thrills. NASCAR Wheeling Southern Modified Tour from Langley Speedway on Versus. the face of Comcast. When you call in, that's me. If you ever have a problem, we'll fix it immediately. We don't resolve a problem the first time. We'll extend a courtesy service to our customers. The customer's not happy. Comcast is not happy. If we miss an appointment, we'll credit you right on your bill. Because we know your time is valuable and very important to you. You're a customer. You deserve it. It's guaranteed. We're only as good as our word. And our word is good. At Comcast, we don't just believe in customer service. We guarantee it. See for yourself. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Hey, don't you want to know who's calling? It's the best part. On <laughs> Comcast, you get caller ID right on your TV. Plus, service rated number one in call clarity. Whoa, I should get rid of AT&T. I got your back, Raj. Jack's got your back. Mm -hmm. Don't settle for less with AT&T. Get the Comcast HD Triple Play with universal caller ID on the phone, TV, and PC. Dude, get the door. You're closer. At Kentucky Speedway in the eyes on IndyCar Series, Kentucky Indy 300, it's Weldon, Franchitti, and Andretti running first, second, and third, and Andretti one second from Dario. Will Power has come up to fourth, and just a few laps ago, as we look back from Will Power's car to Ed Carpenter, watch this save. Coming off a two, looking back there. Now watch the big, quick move. Look at how fast that is. He gets out of the throttle, says, woo, gathered it back up. But there he is. He is challenging right back on the backside yep. of Kanan. So it's fourth, fifth, and sixth. And I think something interesting is happening at the front, and that is that all of the leaders, by my calculations, are four laps short to make it to the end of the race. Wow. So. John, you are correct. In fact, already Clive Howell has told Will Power that he needs to save fuel. And then look for more information on that, let's check in with Clive with Robbie Floyd. Well, Clive's trying to talk to Will right now. He did tell him to save fuel. Clive, much concern on the fuel right now. Yeah, I mean, it's real close at the moment. We need a yellow or we need to try and save some. How, how concerned were you? That is there anything wrong with the car? Or was that just an instance of having code tires when he got squirrely? Oh, no, he was trying to go by Andretti and got up in the grade. That's why we went back. But we're OK now. I heard you were asking for help from Dan Weldon's team earlier. They denied you in that effort. What do you have to think, say about that? Uh, no reply. <laughs> <laughs> I asked. <laughs> So when we first saw Dan Weldon with the great pit work and then he was not off to the races, I think that's an indicator that he also got the call, hang on a minute, we're short, and if there's well, not a yellow, start saving fuel. But even you know, Jan, I do think, though, that Weldon may be the one that has the advantage, likewise for Frankini, by my calculations, they, may, they literally could run out of fuel as they cross the finish line with the checkered flag. There is a big disadvantage when you're leading, though. But there's a, how do you, do you save enough fuel to make up three or four laps? I mean, you're going to have to have a yellow. I don't think you can save enough just by staying behind somebody and lift to make up that deficit. Last year, people made up three laps. The, they were run 52 laps, and there were a couple people that ran behind someone and drafted, and they made it to 55 laps. Not, but Weldon can't do that when he's leading. He, just, he can't back off enough to make it to the end. He will need yellow, but you have somebody back there like a Will Power. He might be able to if he just rode right behind and just lifted off as much and, as possible. And, and being back fourth or fifth in line, if you're 
following those guys right in front of you, you can probably breathe as much as anything. The problem is you got that guy right behind him, Ed Carper, that's going to keep you honest. Say, oh, if you're going to do all that lifting, I'm going to go by you. And that yeah, but guys, here's, here's, the the fact, here's the factor system that you got to remember. These Honda engines this year, every single race, they have made better mileage than the Honda engine made last year. The big question mark, is it enough?